special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons. Sam Medina, Lucky Charms, Matthew Hall, Anik D, Charlene Kelly, Riptide, Blabia Cookie, Madlo, Yushika Bay, and Rick Hemingway for your amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey everyone, and welcome back to 7 Days to Night, Darkness Falls Mod. So I have a little bit of a problem. I'm busy making repair kits, grabbing stuff out of uh, chests to repair, to sell, and listen to that. So there are zombies outside, they just heard me make noise. I'm gonna have to run. I'm gonna have to run, 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 run. I'm hoping if I do this... I can do this. And also do this to them. Oh, there you go. Whoopsie. I need to make sure we don't get hit too much or too often over here because we want to not heal constantly. But at least this way we can do some damage. Okay, if there's tough zombies that might just jump over. As long as we can just take a step back and then do this, we're safe. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's been a while since we actually had... Wait, why are you going for the walls? It's been a while since we actually had like the mutated spiders and all that stuff also coming for us. It bothers me when they go for the titanium walls and stuff. I don't know why. Yeah, now my inventory is full because I was busy grabbing stuff to sell. So I'm gonna have to do this. Wait, where's my vehicle? Please don't let the bags disappear. Please don't let the bags disappear. Um, let me just reverse over here quickly. At least this wasn't that bad. Um, sometimes there's way, way, way too many tough zombies out here. And this time around we actually got lucky a little bit. So gas, put that over there. My drone, my turret, over there. We have a free spot over here. I'm gonna do that. And then we have to drop a few things over here. I want to make sure we have some cash. Because I only realized uh, at the end of last episode, we kind of used up all of our um, cash. I had so much cash and just by buying a few skills from um, the scout, we used up everything. So if the trader or the scout or someone has books for us now, mastery books, we won't be able to buy them because we don't have any space right now. Is there any more bags, any more anything over here? I need to make that steal as soon as possible. Doing a horde also need to see if they're not going in there because at the moment they start breaking in there, they're going to start doing damage to the stairs. We can't afford for that to happen. But yeah, I was actually going to get you guys back as soon as I had everything repaired and ready and all that, and then all of a sudden I just hear the footsteps outside. And me, I made the idi uh, idiotic mistake of opening and closing these storages while the zombies were outside. So yeah, that just made them come for me faster right now. Let me just see, one, two, three, put that one away because you have this one. I want to make sure we can quickly go... Armor, clothing, put that over here. And uh, just get some more cash. We are going to do more quests because it's, we need to prepare for Horde Night. And we're a little bit short at the moment when it comes to that stuff. We do have one Grandpa's Awesome Source over here. So I want to sell as much as possible right now. Yeah, that's resources. That is cash. Those repair kits we're quickly going to use over here. Uh, should probably start with the guns because they might sell for more. Also, some of these guns... Oh, I just put a few in my vehicle as well. Some of these guns actually sell... Well, way more like they already repaired and they sell for more than the unrepaired higher quality ones. So the higher quality ones I'm not going to go for right now. It's just a waste. I'll just uh, repair the stuff that we do have. Um, and if they're already repaired, I'll use the repaired ones. So we don't have to wor worry about wasting repair kits right now. I only made like 40 something. So we don't really have to, uh, that that many. One, two. Let me just see. I had some more of here just now. Wait, what? Where did those guns go just now? Oh, we only have these two on us right now. Okay, so, three, and yeah, that's it. Then one, two, three, and then sell this and grab those. The last ones that are not repaired, I'm not going to repair right now, because the trader anyways only takes three items each, or three of each item. So for now, we can put these away. As long as we have three of each item and it's relatively good quality, it should give us quite a bit of cash. Guns first... Uh, this will sell for over 100. Some of these sell for really, really, really little. I'm like, oh, is it even worth it? I'm going to scrap these. Okay, I want to make sure the gas is also done. So we're going to grab more of this stuff. We're going to put these in while we take the rest out. Boom. Oh, nice. That is so awesome. Now we finally have gas again and don't have to worry. But also, I do need to be careful. At least 3,000. Let's stack to 10. So that's three stacks. I want to make sure that's not 300,000, but 33,000, so that should be enough space. Not enough fuel, unfortunately. Uh, I don't want to waste all my frames as well, so we need to go chop down more trees and stuff too. I'm going to go to the trader and see if the scout has any more quests for us, and then junk batons, I'm just going to scrap. Weapons, we sell. 
See, some of these are not worth repairing right now because I know we're not going to get much for them. Repair kits, that goes over there. We only have five left. I'm not going to repair the rest. I'm just going to sell them as is. I could, uh, I could repair them and sell them for even more, guys. But at the moment, we need to worry about also repairing our stuff when the time comes or if the time comes. Okay, we can put that away. So now we're just going to see what the trader has. We need to fill up our bike. We finally, 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 finally have gas again. We'll just do that. And yeah, um, I'm hoping the trader actually has a master book. I should probably see as well when he resets. Let's just do that. Um, then I, if, he, if I know when he resets, I know when to go and check for the new books and stuff. Also, if I get any more um, books right, or notes or coin right now, I should not spend it on any skills. I think let's go do that level 5 dig quest over there for him because that's the previous day's big quest. And then we can go to the trader. That way, if we find any more cash or anything cool right now in the dig quest, we might be able to use it at the trader. It just makes sense that way. Okay, wait, 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 wait. A vehicle that we have not... Oops, the mutated nurse. What are you doing here? He must have been part of the Wandering Horde if she's just walking around. I see a vehicle. Oof. We already have three, so I'm going to scrap these for space. Do I have anything on my bike still? No. Okay, so the stuff we're not going to be selling, we put over there. I do need to make sure every time we see a vehicle, we range it as well. I mean, obviously, we can make our own gas and stuff right now. Mechanical parts. I need to make some space. Yeah, we can make our own uh, gas, but if we come across gas, take it. It's just going to save us time and effort later, especially since we don't want to go choppy, uh, chop down trees. If the trader has wood, we buy wood. If he doesn't have wood, then we just go and we wrench cars. I hear a zombie hitting something, but I can't see what they're hitting. Oh, that's just grass. Uh, plant fibers, we don't need that right now. I should probably make sure my vehicle is fully uh, refueled as well. We have the gas on us, but I haven't actually said refuel. We don't want to run out of gas, although it's going to be a while until we run out of gas again, so that's kind of cool. The fact that we now don't have to worry about gas is really, really awesome. Now I'm, now I'm glad going for the master uh, mass mechanic. Although we still do need to go for the new vehicles. Now that we have master mechanic, we can make ourselves like the, the buggy and all that stuff. That thing's really, really cool when driving around. I should probably pick up potatoes and stuff that I come across too, because I need to start a potato farm. I haven't really thought about any other plants and stuff other than corn right now because we need it for ammo. That's about... Over here, I'm hoping. The less I have to dig right now, the better. The more I have to dig, the closer we get from zombies spawning in and screwing with us. Can't see it, so it's either going to be on that side. Just quickly deal with these zombies spawning in. Should probably be put my turret. Oh, yep. I don't have to put my turret down. Thank you, 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 thank you. Ooh, the turret helps a lot. It helps so, so, so much. I need to actually see if we can't get that second turret as soon as possible. Okay, for lady for a moment there gave me a jump scare. Wait, you're only 40 HP. That lady just gave me a, a jump scare. I thought, oh no, it's over. But now, where did I see this treasure? Oh, there you go. Okay, so I need to be able to get out. Now I'm stuck over here. Be careful that you don't get stuck and you can't jump out because then the zombie's gonna fall on your head. Ooh, now we have a problem. We don't need the notes and stuff anymore. That is titanium gloves. Scrap that. We have enough of these. Don't need that. Guys, we have so many tokens and stuff right now. We don't really have to do that stuff. Oh, I uh, just realized. Let me just see where my turret's pointing at. Um, There's another loot bag. I want to loot all these loot bags just in case there's something awesome in them. Thank you, turret. Man, it's, having, it's like having a partner with you in the game. You don't have to worry about stuff. Ooh, more super corn. Yes, 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 yes. I'll never say no to super corn. I was just waiting for him to run past there just now. See, there's more potatoes over here on the ground. So it makes sense that if you, if you see potatoes, pick it up. It's scattered all over. I keep saying pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, and I'm not picking it up. And then later we're going to need to start a potato farm, but we're going to have so few potatoes, we're not really going to do anything. We'll be able to do anything. Okay, now we can go back. That was actually a little bit close. Um, dug, round, uh, dug down wrong, and that almost cost us our lives just now. I need to be way, way more careful. Because I wonder what I should go for, the demonic essence route or the nanite route? Because on the one hand, I want to be able to, uh, to just dri uh, yeah, drive because it saves time. But if we're running, we can actually see potatoes and stuff between the grass, and we can pick all of that stuff up. Also, let me just do this before I forget. 
Oh, you're full. Wait, did I already fill it up and I just used up the rest? Or how did that just work? Come on. Ooh, bullseye. What are you looking okay, for? Okay, so we have a little bit of space, although... Craft better. Yeah, see, weapon crafting, weapon crafting, gun crafting. Oh, I wasted cash like crazy. That is messed up, guys. I just realized we wasted cash. Since these are grayed out, uh, it still gives you the option of being able to buy them. So I wasted like 45,000 coin or something because I tried keeping to, uh, I tried buying this. I was wondering how we went from 100,000 after just buying like four or three skills to no cash. I wasted so much cash without even realizing it. Damn. That actually, that hurts Yay. a lot. Um, oh yeah, we didn't have a quest today. I was about to say, where's your quest? Where's your job? Let's see, Lumberjack is not going to be demonic. You? Nothing special, I think, is also not demonic. It's just a ton of tough zombies and ferals and mutators and stuff. I'm hoping that by day 42, we have so much ammo, we don't have to worry about a thing. Okay, um, titanium chainsaw. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start taking titanium stuff right now. Quill carbine, we have way too many of. That's for 600, doesn't... Oh, you can actually sell the quill carbine. Okay, we'll sell that one then. Any new recipes? Any new better border? Crafting? Anything? Please, man. Now these, all of these are just fetches and they're so super far away. North is Lumberjack. Hmm. Northeast. Fetch. Okay, let's do that one. I'm in trouble. Ooh. Where's okay, Missile Silo. That one might be a little bit tough to clear. Okay, so what we're going to do is just quickly sell the stuff that we have on us. I should have probably seen if we don't have any armors we could sell. I think we have so much extra armor that would have sold way more than the weapons, or at least some of it. Okay, inventory, do that, do that. I should probably get my better border as high as possible as well, just to make it easier to sell stuff. For those of you new to the game, remember, sell the highest quality ones first. Or, if uh, the lower quality is actually repaired all the way, sell the lowest quality one. The one that has the more cash. Usually it's the highest quality, but only if it's all the way repaired. Okay, um... Unfortunately, I couldn't repair all of this because we didn't have the repair kits for it. But for now, I'm just interested in seeing how much money we can actually make with this. 29,000. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. This we can sell for two... Yeah, let's do it. We have the green one. Okay. So this should be enough for now. We have everything else we need of here. Um, you don't have anything new, right? Restock day 46. Oh, I was a day too late in checking you. But the fact that... that that's so weird. We basically reset, or yeah, day 41 he reset, and he didn't have any crafting stuff for us at all. Okay, do you have any wood for us? I should probably start, uh, stop getting the Molotovs, because we don't really use them all that much anyways. During Horde Nights we mostly use explosives, so if I can get some explosives from here, that's going to help us. Okay, to make space, we're just going to go and scrap everything. Just make sure I don't accidentally scrap something that's mine. Drink that, put that away. Okay, now we can go. I want to make sure we do as many of these quests right now. I I'm going to try and pop them off. Um, That one might be tough. Okay, let's do the Lumberjack. We're going to check that other tier 5 quest out. It's been a while since so i actually done... Look, the previous episodes, or the earlier episodes, we focused mainly on getting the scout quest done. Which, I mean, isn't a bad thing because the rewards, especially with three rewards, is amazing. But we, do, we should probably also do the fetch and clears because there's a chance at the final stashes. And if the final stash is worth it, then yeah, it's definitely worth going for these. Okay, right, where, or oh, where, or oh, where? Okay, we're gonna do that. Do this. I wanna make sure this dude is actually helping. B, stay away, please. Now we do this. Come on, my dudes. There you go, and now we just do this. They're going to break this because there's so many of them. But at least if they break it, we'll be able to kill the rest with the knife. Because we do have the turret as well. The turret is actually a really great backup. But every now and then I miss the easiest of shots. Other times I hit them perfectly on the neck. Okay, at least we already had the Wandering Horde, so I don't have to worry too much about that anymore. Now that we've had the Wandering Horde, we're not going to have it for another, like, in-game day. So it gives us a chance just to catch our breath and also to see what to do next. 
So next up is this fetch quest of here. I'm hoping it's a pure eye we haven't seen before. It is the missile silo, so I don't think we've done this one. We've done that other construction site for, I think it is a hotel. We've done that one like twice already. So I want to see if we can't do some new quests and new POIs, but the problem is most of the tier 5s are so far out of town, we have to literally leave town, travel so, so far, and then hopefully we get lucky. Oh, it's this place. Ooh, this is going to be bad. Tier 5 fetch. Last time I just dug down. Let's see if we can clear this place. I mean, I can always just try and run away from this place and then dig down if I really need to. But I want to see, if we do this now, how many demons are going to be? Are there going to be demon bosses? When are we going to start getting demon bosses? That kind of thing. We should probably dump as much stuff over here as possible right now. We don't want to be encumbered at all when clearing this place. Although we should probably keep a coffee at hand just in case we need to get away. We have some Molotovs, we have some explosives. We can put that away and put the explosives over here. There's something missing. Usually there's, yeah, usually there's only one slot over here. So, oh, there's no slots left uh, when this gun is here. So it makes me think something is missing right now. Tier 5 clear. No, it's just fetch. If it was a clear, at least it would show where the zombies are. But because it's not, we have to now um, hopefully not come across too many bosses and stuff. Oh, you are bugged like hell. Look at this. I think they registered him as a small zombie. Now he's stuck in between those two sandbags over there. Yeah, come on. Oh, crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just do this. Ooh, just exploded the vehicle. That was bad. Oh, there's another one to the left. Okay, be careful, John. It feels like I'm so slow with my uh, current armor on for some reason. Like when I'm running, it feels like I'm not moving at all, and that makes me so scared. Look at all the zombies spawning just from- Okay, I'm gonna do that. Oh crap, I thought I might be eating him on the chest just now. Okay, we need to turn around. We need to do this. With all these new turtles, we need to be careful not to get killed. It just takes one of them to explode a vehicle on us or something and then we're dead. Oh crap, okay, you're, you're dying from the fire, that's good. You just die out? Guys, this sword is really cool, but I need- uh, I wonder if we can actually put the, uh, um, Iron Break on it. We need to be able to do way more damage to these dudes. I think with the Iron Break on, at least we'll be able to break the armor a little bit better, because they're all wearing armor right now. I'm kind of running out of ammo, or, um, stamina, I mean. The is definitely- uh, definitely- definitely- <laughs> Afrikaans. Definitely underneath us. Okay, so these dudes are sprinting right now because they're feral. I need to make sure that uh, the bags of zombies drop at least. Hello. The bags of zombies drop are the ones we have to loot right now. The other stuff I don't want to loot right now for just to save space. Come on, turret. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. There you go. There you freaking go. These zombies, when they're sprinting, are way faster than me. I think my armor is weighing me down. We have titanium armor, and it's supposed to be light armor, but it doesn't feel light at all. I'm gonna see if there's any other body bags that dropped. It's gonna storm. Dude, you have to follow me over here, please. If you can get inside with me, I'll be able to, um, clear those- Oh, you're going inside. Look, it's on a clear quest, so we can actually let him help us. Okay, there's a ton of stuff over here that's being wasted right now. I need space. Let's go help him. What are you attacking, dude? Oh, I thought you ran inside. Where are you going now? I thought he was going to help me even more, but now he's running away. Okay, there's nothing in there. Oh, wait, there is something in there. Hello. I should probably not turn my back like this. If something gets stuck or pushes me into the window right now, we're going to get stuck. It's ammo. See, this is why we need to do these places. The ammo alone. I don't think we've looted this place at all. We had one fetch quest over here and I just dug down next to the vicinity. It's actually pretty large underneath. It's a massive bunker. Oh, there you go. Oops. 
Oops. You son of a bitch. There you go. Okay. The more ammo we get right now, guys, the better. So it's a really good thing we're coming from this POI right now. It's just a shame a that you're running this way. You better run. There's nothing out there for you to kill. Come on, help me over here. Victory is mine. Especially if there's more demons and stuff, I'm definitely going to need help right now. Oh, no wonder there were so many zombies. It seems all of these zombies woke up. Oh, hello. I wonder if this floor's in a cave-in if I go inside over there. That's a lot of fuel and stuff just sitting there. Can I get in through the back or through the vents or something? Nope. I thought we might be able to break the vents and there'd be a hole in the wall. Okay, I also need to make sure there's no more sleepers at the back over there because they can really mess you up if you're not careful. Okay, this is, these are only 2,000 XP. I think these are 5,000. And then I need to be careful that this... Doesn't cave in somehow. If I'm not careful, this might actually break and then we have a problem on our hands. Imagine if this drops down and all of a sudden we just fall on like a ton of zombies or something. Oh, that's gonna suck. Okay, I need to also make sure that from now on, we, we need to do this. It's a, it's a very tedious thing to do, guys, but we need the electrical and mechanical parts. We should be able to make our own, but also then again, we need a ton of steel and iron and all that stuff too. Okay, so the top floor is empty now. It's gonna be when you're going down, that's gonna be way, way tough all of a sudden. Now you're sleeping, but I don't know if it's inside, outside. There's bound to be more sleepers that we haven't seen yet. It's a shame that the shotgun doesn't really do that much damage. I need to go into the farming Oh, I think I might have a skill point to spend. I need to go into get of my land for, uh, under the farmer perk for the shotgun. Although I still haven't gone into the shotgun skill at all, so I should probably start doing that as well. So we can either go under farmer class, get of my land. This over here does five or get 5% 5 less damage when taking damage. But also there's a shotgun boomstick over here that we haven't done it yet as well. That's probably the sleeper that I heard. Hello, where did you guys come from just now? I think both of these dudes were inside the tent over here. I had it when they call all fours. It just reminds me of the demonic um, spider zombie for some reason. Every time they go on all fours, I'm like, no, 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 please, 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 please. Okay, this is the barracks. This is actually a really cool PI. I, I love designs like these that were made by players. It feels like this is supposed to cave in or something. And you are just a cow. Three meats, thank you. Oh, I think we might actually be able to jump down here. But is that a... Yeah, we can actually jump down here and do it from the bottom up. Um, That is a wall safe over there and we need as much ammo and stuff as possible. We should also be able to go down somewhere over here as well. I'm hoping since this is a military facility, it has way more of these uh, ammunition boxes. Uh, so we can go down over here, there's stairs. Let's go down the right way. And then as soon as we're done the right way, we can go uh, down the wrong way. I don't know if we're going to come up the silo or not. I think we're supposed to take the stairs, but if we can't come up the silo, um, yeah, we're going to lose all that stuff that might be in the wall safes. We'll take the stairs as we're supposed to, like good, good boys and girls. Wait. Yeah. Uh, make sure this is reloaded. I should have probably had my second turret uh, by now as well. Oh, I could have actually spent it in that. So if we level up now again over here, we need to do this one so we can get two of these at a time. And then we have to go for the shotgun skill. So the further down this goes, the more it makes me worry of what we're going to get down there. Usually you find zombies on stairs or in the walls or... They just surprise you from all over. A really good trap right now, since we're on a staircase and we can't get out, is to have zombies pop out the walls. Imagine I say that and all of a sudden we actually do get zombies popping out. I think there's a behemoth down, or another demolisher down there somewhere.
That kind of saved me just now, but the more noise there is like that, explosions and stuff, the more zombies get spawned. So careful when I go down here. Now also my turret took a ton of damage from that just now. The last time I was in a bunker thing like this, we got overrun like crazy with demons. So that's why I'm trying to be so careful right now. That was the previous update at least. With this new update, we should be a little bit better off. But I still, I want to be as careful as possible right now. So it seems the turret can actually... Well, I don't know if the turret's supposed to shoot them. I don't think the turret was supposed to set him off, but because he was on his back. So I saw most of the shots were headshots. But when the dude fall on his, uh, fell on his back and his um, switch was sticking up, in between him and the turret, well, in between him and the head, I think that's why it actually just worked out like that. Can we break this? Oh, you got blown into the wall just now. That is unlucky. I thought it was supposed to spawn over here, but it seems he was just... No, okay, wait. I don't know if it was supposed to be or not, but I think he was blown through the wall from the explosion just now. Yeah, this thing took some serious damage. It's a half HP right now. Which way am I supposed to go? I'm just so worried about demons and stuff right now. I also need to see if I'm on the same level as the fetch quest or not. Because this is, I need to remember, it's not a clear quest, it's a fetch quest. You'd think because you can't see the red dots, I'd remember this, but it's so easy to forget. I think I was on the right level just now, now I'm going wrong level again. If, as I'm running away from the zombies, I can just place the turret down, so I can shoot the zombies in the back, that would help us. This goes down, but there's nothing else down here, right? Need to make sure there's no hidden zombies, no hidden pathways, anything like that sort. Okay, so we're supposed to go down over here as well, each, each level, and see... I wonder if you can go up every level. Yeah, you can. I want to see the walls and see if there's any more wall safes and stuff. I think this is the way you're supposed to get down, get away. Careful. You never know when more zombies or where more zombies are going to spawn. It's so freaking scary. But yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on the walls, guys, because we can get more of those wall safes, more ammo and stuff, like this. This one we couldn't even see from the top. The other one we still have to go for this um, wall safe. The more wall safes we get, the more ammo and stuff we get, that's going to make this even more worth it. So I'm actually really, really glad we came for this one right now, because we need the ammo for Horde Knight. There you go. Sound is bugged again. For some reason, the lockpicks uh, always keep... Well, the sound keeps bugging out for some reason. Yeah, we are supposed to go down the corridor. Now I'm lost. Uh, <laughs> where am I supposed to go? There's supposed to be a hole over here somewhere that I can follow. Did I just get lost? How is that possible? There's definitely supposed to be a hole over here. Oh, there you go. Ooh, remember, I was like, wait, what? Where am I? I think let's go for this uh, one as well. This is one we saw earlier. If we can make sure we get all the wall safes then with all that ammo. Oh, we can't go up anymore. Oh, you can. With all the ammo we're getting from this, we might actually be able to have a really nice ward night. Although I should probably see if I can't craft myself a ton of uh, grenades and frags and stuff. Especially now since we have a rocket launcher. And we should have the recipe for other stuff as well. I need ammo. I need explosives. These horde knights, especially with all the behemoth and stuff, are getting way more intense. All the way to the right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I've noticed some of these have different designs. I think that's also why the sound's bugged. Like this one. Just do there. Um, this one has a round a circular design. The other one had like a lock design. And the lock is the one that bugs out with the sound. Okay, now we have to get back down without breaking a leg or anything, and then see if we can't do the rest of this place. We just did that one, so we have to go even more down. I'm supposed to go through that corridor to the left. Okay, so now at least we know we have this section of the base done, we just have to get the rest. But I need to be so careful of demons and stuff spawning in right now. There's sleepers all over. Sometimes, even though there was just a demolisher exploding, 
Sometimes the sleepers don't hear any of that noise. So a sleeper could literally be around the corner. Oh, another mission's chest. Nice. A sleeper might literally be around the corner and didn't wake up from all that noise just now. Bathrooms. I want to block that bathroom. Okay. Crap, 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 crap. Come on, soldier dudes. Actually, I want to do this. Nope, 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 nope. Do this. And while you're down, do this. Be careful that I don't break my legs and arms right now, especially since my turret's downstairs. Crap, I have to run all the way to the top. These dudes are way faster than me on the stairs. You can just hear the armor dinging. The armor makes a massive, massive difference. Crap, I wanted to set him off quickly as well. Ooh, okay, that was that helped a little bit. Man, these guys are so tough. Sometimes the shotgun is like a, a real... It's like an elephant gun. It can stop anything in its tracks. But other times, it's so hard. There you go. Other times, you shoot the zombies and they, you do barely any dam uh, damage at all. But the staircase is falling apart. All of the steel is getting broken right now. Some of these demolishers must have been mutated because they're just way too tough. Make sure no zombies fall to the bottom of here. If I jump down and all of a sudden get hit in the back, we are screwed. How much damage has my turret taken by now? You see, we need a, we need armor piercing rounds and stuff to be able to deal with all of these demos right now. That's the fetch. I swear, if this is like the library in Ways UK, where the zombies just fell out the roof for no reason at all, that's gonna suck. Imagine accepting that, uh, just picking up this fetch and all of a sudden being surrounded by demons and stuff. You can actually go up over here. Where does this lead to? I want to make sure we explore this whole place while we, uh, come on. Remember that I wasn't able to grab the ladder. I was like, what the hell? I thought the ladder might be from the backside, but now I see it's not. Oh, this actually goes down. We still need to grab the resources over there. But this goes all the way down. So we could have actually had the fetch quest from the start if we just went down this ladder over here. I think I'm going to call it episode, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, we have to go from the bathroom next episode. I don't know how far we are from clearing, clearing this place right now, but I want to get this stuff so long. So if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Insanity. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.